Ciao. Simo. Yeah. Ernest. E. Hey, man. I don't give a damn if they say it in the comments or not. Why he always got to say Because they make it happen. If, if, if they don't make it happen, ain't no fucking show. Can't do shit without them people. Tell you what, you go to your job tomorrow and let the supervisor not show up. Shit your whole shift fucked up. It's on me messed up. Your whole shift gonna be fucked up. Not the shift. The day, this really, this whole week would be off. Supervisor out there. You know what? Hold on. We was talking about something before we started rolling. We was talking about some of this Hollywood shit that people got to go through and the pressure sometimes people don't understand that we have yeah. to deal with doing with auditions and all these yeah. other things. People don't even understand. Let me tell you what happened. Just, I think this year I adapted, I adopted, uh, a new attitude with auditions. What's your audition? What's your audition attitude? I'm glad you asked. I did not think you were gonna ask me that. Mm. You know, that's the tricky thing about questions. You never know if they come. You just coming. don't know. You right. don't know, you just gotta be ready. You be ready for them when they ask you. <laughs> you gotta be ready. Um, I got a fuck it attitude. That's good. I'll tell you what I did. I had an audition. Same, same, the same shit you got. Like you went in for the second week, you going in for the second time. Yeah. They, had, they called me in for the second time. Yeah. Two times. Mm-hmm. And this is how I used to be in auditions. Man, I gotta be calm, man. I, man, I hope they like me. Mm. Man, I hope the people in the room like me. I hope, man, I hope I can just relax and just, I really hope they like me. That was my big thing. I really hope they like me. Yeah. So I would go in the room trying to give them what I thought they wanted. Mm -hmm. And I'm fucked off from the start right then. Mm. See, they want me. Yeah. Give them me. So you know what I did? This is what I did. Called me in for an audition. I got called in for an audition. I went in. Mm -hmm. This is on a Monday. I yeah. went in for the audition. Mm -hmm. Come on in, D. We'll see. I went in. That's always it's an awkward walk in because you gotta awkward. get. Awkward as fuck. Yeah. I walk in there. It's like four people in the room. Right. It's real silent. It's real, right. So I remember going in. I was prepared. I went in. I did my thing, but I still felt like I didn't give them me. I left out the room feeling like, mmm. It's like when you. You know you want to give it to a woman, and then you don't. You give it to her, but you think about what you could have did when yeah. you're on that drive home. Like I, I should have just. I could have did this. I didn't. I, you really yeah. Shit. Then you like, damn. You, next time. Next time I'm gonna do. It. So if it's a did, next time. If there's a next time, I'm gonna fix this shit. I'm it's kind of like how me and my wife's sex life is right now. How is it? It's like if there's a next time. I, I was definitely thinking about that the other day. I was like, yep. I went off mm -hmm. with some things I could have did. But that's okay. But you didn't. You stood strong. I stood strong thing. in there. That's the most important. Until you know, in, you know, next time. If there's a next time. If there's a next time. That's always gonna be it. Let me tell you something. If you if you take that attitude toward every person. That's what it's with, about. You gotta have that approach in life. Next time. If there's a next time. If there's a next time. Because it might not be no next time. Mm -mm. A lot of people thought it was gonna be another time, and then it was it was it. Billy, let me tell you what happened. I was sick of putting all that pressure on my goddamn self. And don't worry, folks at home, I'm going to light it. <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we started this. Sure we started to let y'all know it was fresh and yeah. we haven't. I don't roll no big long ones. This is a backwood. This is back another one over here. We got it. So I just want to, and I'm going to light it. Just let me get through this shit. Okay. And we know y'all got y'all's lit already. And cheers to y'all for that. So I said, no more pressure for delay. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Fuck it attitude when it comes to audition. Yeah. Fuck it. So they say, hey, listen, <clears throat> same company wants to see you again mm -hmm. tomorrow. I said, you know what? Cool, I got something for them. They sent me over the sides. Okay. The sides is what you need to remember, what lines you need to remember. Your lines. Send me over the sides. Yeah. You know what I did? What? I said, I'm not even going to open oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even opening it. I didn't even open it. I just looked at the email. Let, let me, time. okay, let, let me explain this to the people who don't understand how this works. The whole purpose of people coming into an audition is to read what's on the paper. Mm -hmm. He said he not going to look at the paper at all. Mm -mm. I'm not even going to open the attachment. There's an attachment coming with this. Email. So, so <laughs> you, what you saying when you don't know none of the lines? It doesn't matter. <laughs> they booked me, not the lines. <laughs> they asked me to come in there. <laughs> they asked me to come in there. So I said, you know what? That's what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm going in there, bitch. On everything, Billy. I go up in the audition. I remember the morning of, right? Tamara called me. You ready? I said, about as ready as I'm going to be. <laughs> I ain't even opened the attachment. 
I have not opened that attachment at all. I ain't got no plans on opening that attachment. Fuck that attachment. I'm sick of all these pressures. Every time I go in an audition, I'm fucking nervous and fucking jittery. Fuck this audition. <laughs> I mean it, bro. I, I meant it. Got dressed. Went down to the building. You know how auditions are. It's always like people, it's real quiet. Mm. And everybody's sitting in. And some yeah. people have their... It's like you know, a library. It's like a library. Yeah, and people, people trying have, to get in their zone. They get in their zone. And people have, it's it's a the couple of different types of people that's in that room, too. Yeah. It's the person that's still going over their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's pacing. You got the nigga that's pacing talking to himself. You got this dude right here. He's acting shit out in his head. You got the person that's just sitting there quiet and just in their own zone. And then there's me. You know who I what, am? Who are you? Listen. I'm fucking with people to get their mind completely off these lines that they trying to go over. Especially when I know we all auditioning for the same shit. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah. Hey boy. Hey man, that shit was crazy the other day. I was on them all. Hey. So look, man, how you been, bro? Hey, let me tell you something. I'm not trying to. I'm you, trying to keep your head. I know him. I know that dude in there. I'm fucking over everybody. I got something for him. Cause I already made my mind up. If I don't know it by the time I get out the car, I just don't know it. <laughs> run your line. Run, run your shit by me. How yeah, you talking so, to people? That is me in yeah, my zone. So, talk to me. Talk to me with your shit. Yeah, hey man, hey, what's up, D? How you doing, bro? Hey, boy, hey. Not right now. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> right to the motherfucking meat of it. Not right now. Let me nip this shit. Not right now. I already see what you coming from. You think we're going to talk and get your ass comfortable before you go into the room. You're going to use me as your motherfucking... Ah, nah. I see what you're doing. Ah, ah. They in there and they in there. They got these people. They all serious. They people got to go. Right? And it's nothing like the person who wants to say what you you just did. Do it again. Say so. Go, go ahead, Eugene. Yeah, man. What's up, D? Hey, man. How you doing? Man, bro? hey, they got it called back right in. Not right now, brother. Not right oh, okay, now. Not right. right now. All right. Not right now. That's it. Okay. All right. Just get back focused. So I mean, they, they who you, Tamara since you got you on this one? <laughs> I'm not fucking with him. <laughs> I hey, see what he in here for. Now look. Now look. You be me, and I'm gonna be the person that don't know how to say no to what you're talking about. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> hey. hey, Billy, how you doing, man? Oh, man, what's up, brother? Hey, good, good, yeah. bro. I saw you on Roast Me. Oh, yeah, man, I did do that, man. Yeah, that was bro. crazy. That was wild. You told that boy he had a big ass nose. That was ah. wild, boy. Yeah, That's so crazy, yeah. man. Shit, man. Hey, you ready? Man, bro, I'm gonna try and get in there. You know, I gotta yeah, do what I gotta bro. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah, try yeah, and keep yeah, going. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how many times you go out a week? Man, you know it's crazy. It's college time, you know, but you know we're working it out, man. That's God is up. good, man. Yeah, man, God's good. Speaking of God, what church you go to? Man, we and wife actually were still looking for a uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. place to go. Man. But man, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Speaking of wives, I just lost mine. Yeah, oh, man, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man, she got on up out of here. Yeah, she died. Nah, she just got on up out of there, man. Just <laughs> walked out. Oh man. Yeah, man. It's so crazy, I'm just trying huh? to stay focused for this right here. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, interrupt you nothing like that. If I'm, oh, if yeah, I'm a, it's cool, if I'm, you know, if I'm, no. if I'm messing hey, up your vibe, hey, man. You know, and because you out here, man, I just know we get together, man. We always, you know, swap out. Let's get together bro. sometime next week, man. Get some food or something, man. You are Catch wonderful. Up, man. I ain't seen you since we shot that show. Human together. being, bro. Man, it's cool. You're wonderful, bro. Man, bro. Hey, listen, man. I was wondering if we can get some sketches together, like, man, because like, like I know you guys, you know, y'all do y'all stuff, you know, with the podcast or whatnot. I was just trying to figure out if you guys. You know, needed like a no, no. sound I'm guy. You, I'm gonna tell you what you problems. do. Take my number down. Oh, okay, okay. It's three two three three eight five nine seven three four. We'll, we'll get, get somebody, somebody over there. You got them right. Fuck over there up. Promise you, we will. So they in there and they in their zone. Yeah. These people zoned out. It's about fifteen people in there. It's people. It's people on the side of the wall. It's, it's some people just walking around. But it's about fifteen people total. So, so yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm looking around the room. People focus, people quiet. Some people got their eyes closed. People meditating. Right. They are so focused. You know what I'm doing, Billy? What you doing, bro? I'm glad you asked. I didn't think he was gonna ask me that. Think about questions. You just don't know. Just Billy, don't. I am not paying attention to nothing that they're doing. I am in my phone, in my DMs. Okay. I'm about to go live in about five minutes. <laughs> in the waiting room? I'm in the waiting room. Five minutes, I'm going live. <coughs> Packed out in there. She come through. I already know why I'm after. Johnson? John. Yeah. Johnson, get up. I know I'm after Johnson. I ain't even tripping. Scrolling, nigga. Nigga, I'm, a, I'm on CNN app now. I'm on the CNN app. You getting the update? Man, what's Breaking Trump news. talking about? I'm all on this motherfucker. I have not looked at anything. Now, wait, correction. Let me tell you what I did look at. I looked at what the role was. 
I looked at what the role was, and that's it. I looked at the time I needed to be there, and I looked at the address. The role was an exterminator. The ro that's all I needed to know. It was an exterminator. Period. I'm up next. Well, I'm gonna come out the back. Delay. Are you ready? I look up. I said, am I ready? <laughs> Stand up. I said, listen up, everybody. These people look like, what the fuck is it? Listen up. Let me have your attention for a second. See, what they like to do is get you on auditions and intimidate you. Say things to you like, delay. Are you ready? But here's the deal. I won't let these people intimidate me. You know why? Because I didn't call them. <laughs> they called me. Take me to the back, lady. Real shit. On everything I love, this happened. On everything I love. I said, take me to the back, lady. I go to the back. This lady, everybody in the room is like, what is going on in here? This dude is tripping. You know what's good? You know, the funny part is, it's the commitment to the shit. I'm in it. Listen, I was auditioning for In Living Color. Now, where that damn light at? They had four different casting directors for the show. Mm -hmm. I made my... Oh. Yeah, yeah. My mic ain't up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, am I looking at the light? Am I looking at the light and don't know it? I don't see it. I definitely don't see it. Because we, we five minutes in and we ain't lit this motherfucker. It's going to be a problem for them. Now, now we ain't smoking. Now we wasting drugs. Yeah. Ain't nobody else smoking? Ain't nobody else smoking but us. Oh, I know we can. Mm -mm. Fuck your, me. It's in your pocket. All right, we'll fix that. So you go in the room, my bad. So, right, right here on the face. See? And we're back. Good. And we're back. All right, so I said my little statement, and now I'm in the back. Mm -hmm. The lady who calls me in the back says, Delay. What is wrong? Keep in mind, this is my second time in the same room. Going to read for these people. I'm about sick of this shit. Delay, what is wrong with you? I said, just get me in the room, lady. Just like that. I opened up the door. She opened up the door. Ladies and gentlemen, Delay, they clap. Yeah. I said, thank you. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I reading with? This is me. Who am I reading with? They like, <laughs> face dead serious. Is it you, ma'am? I cool. So they hand me the script. I said, I wish I would read from that. These people look like, oh, he prepared. Oh, shit. Let's sit back and wait for this. He ain't studying now. Let's sit back and wait for this. All I know is I'm an exterminator. I don't know what the scene is about. I don't know who's in there with me. I don't know anything about this. I'm an exterminator. And I'm about to be the best exterminator that d know how to be. A improv exterminator. You ready, ma'am? Yes. Go. Wow. I don't know how long this is going to take. <laughs> Me. Hmm. Okay. I see what's going on here, ma'am. I see exactly what's going on. All right. Can't nobody else see that in here but me, right? That's what y'all telling me? Can't nobody see that? Looking out in the corner so I can see exactly what the problem is right here. Okay, I see what it is. I see exactly. Well, ma'am, look like you got yourself an infestation problem. Yep, you don't. I do. <laughs> the whole table is laughing. This nigga is ridiculous. She said, he's not reading any other lines. I don't, I don't know where to go from this. So she starts her lines up again. But how long would it take you? Ma'am, that's a time and money problem. <laughs> I don't know how much time you got, nor do I know how much money you got, but I know you got an infestation problem. <laughs> you do, I don't. Whole goddamn table falling out laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my God. Thank you, D-Lady, they're clapping, they're clapping. I'm still in character. <clears throat> I'm not playing with them. I've got my fucking attitude. They're clapping, this. oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. d -Lady, oh my gosh, you've been wonderful. Man, we, we appreciate you. I said thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go behind, behind this door, right here. You don't call me, I'll call you. Turn around, walk out, I heard the whole room was erupt. I said, oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. That's powerful. I got the power now. Because guess what? It don't matter what happens no more. Don't nothing matter. I did what I wanted to do in that room. I took the power. Mm. You got to take that motherfucking power tomorrow.
Go take that motherfucking power from the niggas. Definitely gonna try. Did you get the part? I did. Actually, I booked the, I booked the, booked the part. The, Man, the motherfucker, story. hold up. Thank you, Ernest. I'm glad. That's why we need these niggas here. <laughs> I was I was out of here. I was out of there too. I was gone. Cause you know what? I know you got the part. I got, I got the part. Now let me tell you what happened. They call me the next day. Say, delay. Oh my gosh. They love you in the room. You got the role. I was like, oh my gosh. Book that thing. Thank you. Book What's the show? Let me get to that part. So I'm booked. Or so I think. Two days pass by. I don't, I don't get no email. I don't get no, no messages. Nothing. Yes. Week pass by. Ah, uh, they probably, they probably rewriting the script because I had them, I had them going in the room. I clearly had them going. <laughs> so they probably switching a couple things up. Two weeks passed by. I said, there's probably something going on in payroll. They payroll is probably fucked. It's some kind of way it's jammed up and it's a fucking them starting production. I'm making all kinds of excuses. Long story short, three months passed by. I still didn't get this goddamn bro. To sum it all up, I booked it. But I ain't film shit. <sighs> booked it, but didn't film shit. That happens in Hollywood. You can book it, but it don't mean that you're going to film. Man. We booked it. They want to, they, they, they set a price, they set a date, but we never, Nigga, you we know, never did that. They also, they also book, you shoot it, it never come out. That's another thing. That's a motherfucker right, right there. Telling people, I was in this, I was in that, I was in, mm No, 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 none of your shit hit the airwaves. You're done. Billy, hold on, wait. I, I know I just told a story, but I, I gotta say something. I got, I got to say something. Simo. Yep. Ernest. We got a lot of division going on in the country. What now, we divided now, at? In races. Blacks and whites. Mm. And because of that, I'm going to say something. This is very true. I hesitated about even speaking on this today. But then I was compelled. I was moved. Simo, I have to do it. With all the racial tension. Mm -hmm. the black, white. Rivalry that's going on. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell my story about my one night stand with the white woman. You know, I got to. I think it's an appropriate I, I time, and uh, you know, in order to tell this story properly, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to have this story since it, it crosses racial barriers. Yeah, I feel that this story is is definitely a candidate for it to be sponsored by our good friend Lonnie Boudreaux. Mm -hmm. Here he is now, ladies and gentlemen, coming in. Lonnie Boudreaux. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, sir. Hold your head up. Hell's wrong with you? Hell, we're, sir, we're, sir, we're here. Uh, this is your segment. Uh, we want you to toss to the story that's about to happen, but tell us about your business that you have, sir. Some bitches got wife problems. I can tell you right now. Some bitches got wife problems. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see Hell, it? everybody can see it. Hell, everybody can see it. So how do you deal with problems with your, with your wife? I'll tell you about it as soon as I get this whole thing to do with this young boy about to tell a story about a white woman mm -hmm. and who are not staying. So we're coming back after this, the Lonnie Boudreaux hour, going into a story about a white woman who has a one night stand with D-Lay. I'm heartbroken. Let me start the story off with that. What year is this? Uh, this is a couple of years ago going through the divorce. This is a heavy <sighs> moment on me. I'm heartbroken. Simon, you've been you, your heart been broke before. Mm -hmm. Ernie, she had your heart broke. Yeah. How many times? What? How many times? <laughs> Twice. 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 So, Twice. Uh, yeah, for, uh, don't go back. Don't even go I'm back. I'm not there. doing it. So I'm asking you. How long was that period from the day that she says the words "I want a divorce" to you actually it being over? Over meaning legally over or? She's committed that I'm, she's not fucking with me no more over. Or like, well, that's mean? actually three steps. Because it's yeah. the word, it's the... Oh, the word. Let's go with You the ain't word. fucking around. And then it's, we're divorced. It's official we're divorced. When I knew, you asked me when I knew it was over? Yeah. When well, I, I mean, what, well, I'm going to ask you. So from how long was time was it from the time she said, I want a divorce, uh -huh. to that second stop, which was, oh, she's not bullshit. She really do want a divorce. How much time period is in there for you knew it was serious? Um... It took me about three months. She was like, I want a divorce. I'm like, man, she don't want a divorce. I want a divorce. She don't want a divorce. Month pass. I want a divorce. She don't want a divorce. Now, this I want a divorce is coming up in an argument? Or this, this is, is just... Yeah, it's, it's coming up like, you know, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wow. Oh. What the fuck? Because her mind was already made up. 
But I'm still fighting, I'm still fighting. But when I knew it was done is when I tried to have sex with her and she was like, like, act like I had never fucked her before. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's over. She don't want to do yeah. it. Yeah, it's over. It's yeah. definitely over. So I'm, I'm hurt at this point. We've separated. I'm hurting. I'm hurting badly. And the only thing I have is my comedy. And real quick, she knew it was over the last time she fucked you. Man, that's deep. Where did we know she knew it was over the last, last time, time she fucked me. She was like, I'm not that's fucking with him. Fuck no, I'm not <laughs> fucking with him. I'm done with him. Yeah, I'm not going to fucking with him. I didn't know that. I'm still thinking that something's there. Mm. But when she put that in the back. We body, always think we can get back in. We, all, we definitely think that. Bro, I'm going through it. Mm -hmm. I'm fucking sitting in my car late night drinking my ass off. I stay at the comedy club all night long. Leave the comedy club, go sit in my car, drink, 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 drink. That's all I'm doing. So I'm on the road. Yeah. I'm in Chicago. Uh-huh. I'm in Chicago. Finish the show, have a great show. After the show, I'm hanging out and meet this white woman, beautiful white woman. And beautiful white woman. Where, where are you, where, what hotel are you in in Chicago? I'm staying at that South Loop. Okay. I'm staying at that South Loop. But I'm dealing with a grown ass, beautiful ass white, grown no. I'm going to tell you, She's since wrong. you're staying at the South Loop, let me give you some insight. What he's give it to me. Give it to him. He's at Jokes and Notes. Talk to me. Because that's the hotel you stay at when you play Jokes and Notes that's right. in Chicago. All right. Well, by, by you telling me the hotel. You already know the club I'm playing. Ain't no other comedy clubs put you there. I didn't even know that hotel was there. But that's what's going on. If that, if that hotel could talk, it's still seen some action and some stories. So go ahead. You in the South Loop Hotel, Chicago. Chokes and Notes, a comedy club that does not longer exist. 43rd and King Drive. Lady comes up to me. Hello, D-Lay. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm so fine. I'm doing a meet and greet. She kind of hung around to the end, like the meet and greet. Everybody kind of fills it out. She just mm -hmm. hung around. She said, I'm a huge fan of yours, and I, I pretty much know everything as a fan that I need to know about you. I was like, I really appreciate that. Thank you. So what are you getting into tonight? I'd like to buy you a drink. I'm like... Mm. Cool, let's get it. What are you drinking on? I said, you know what? I'm going in tonight because I've been going through some fucking problems. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Jack Daniels. All right, cool. Jack Daniels is cool. We sitting there having a couple of drinks. I don't know it at the time. Sidney Castillo's in town as well. Mm -hmm. Sidney Castillo's in town and he's been trying to link up with me. So he can't come to the show because he's working. So we link up after Sidney come through. He fall through that on 10. Sydney lit as fuck. Yo, four words for this bitch, funky town. Four words, four words. And that's a big nigga to be lit. Four words, Sydney like six, four, six, five. Comedian friend of ours. Hey, four words, funky town. We in here, my nigga D lit. He loud. In the lobby. In the lobby, loud as fuck. Oh, he lit. I'm nice, but I ain't, I ain't going like that. White woman <laughs> is shooting her motherfucking shot. Shooting that bitch from half court. I'm gonna I'm get something off. How you feeling as as a as a man that is facing this divorce that's so imminent and you in pain? How are you feeling about this potential night with this white woman? I'm vulnerable. And so it's just it had to be that type of deep pain of your, so losing your wife that would open that portal for that white woman to come through. I was really vulnerable. You know, when you're that vulnerable, what is your hope for the situation? I just want her to just make me feel good. I feel like the nigga that was fucking stony and set it off. Yeah. Make me feel good. What's the nigga name that gave her the check and her brother still didn't take the goddamn check? Yeah. Anyway. Blair Underwood. What was his name? Blair Underwood. Not Blair. The nigga that was fucking uh, uh, Jada Pinkett and they made her go in the shower and scrub it, try to scrub the fuck off. Oh, she could. Yeah, okay. yeah, I don't know. yeah. I forgot his name. Anyway, I feel vulnerable. I'm like, man, I, I really, I really want her to make me feel good. People don't think that men have that. Right. Men have that too. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, because I'm hurt. I want her. So she's like, listen. Why don't you just come back to my place? You know? Because I we drinking, I'm telling all my goddamn stories. I'm hurt. I don't know this white woman. Don't care. Don't give a fuck. I'm in there, she said, listen, I have to see you. I have to see you tonight. I said, okay, well, I gotta get my boy back to the room. Sydney lit. And we're not staying at the same hotel. We're staying in separate hotels. Mm. So I said, I gotta get my homeboy. I said, I'll give you a call. She was like, no, I'll give you a call. I'm like, all right, cool. Get Sydney back to his hotel. Sydney lit as fuck. Now you gotta get him in there. Gotta get him in there. Sydney's in there. She calls me. I said, listen, I'm with my man. Let me make sure he's okay. And once that, I gotta go back to my hotel, get settled, I'll come to you. She said, we don't have to take all those steps. I'm like, okay. What you, what you, what you trying to do? She said, I'm gonna send you a car. Mm. 
Not an Uber, bitch. A car. That a is car. it. A car. I said, okay. Okay, cool. This is some big time shit. She grown. Yeah, she this sent you a car woman. service. She on some grown woman. You know, they, they, all them, they wore a full suit on. She sent me a fucking car service. Now, what was it, like a Lincoln Town car? Yeah, like a town car. That's when you know it's some shit. It's serious. Get in the car, go over to her house. She got a nice ass pad. Uh -huh. Nice. Go in, beautiful inside, decorated nice. We get straight to it. She said, I've been wanting you. I've been wanting you. I'm like, how long have you been knowing me? She said, I've been knowing you for a very, very long time. And I know everything about your comedy career. I know about your upbringing. I want you. I know you're single now. I'm like, yeah. Fuck it. Have me, white woman. Have me. I'm so vulnerable. Have me, white woman. <laughs> Bruh, let me tell you, we have an amazing night. Mm. Wake up the next morning. She's up before me. Yeah. She got breakfast already made. Vegan breakfast, nigga. Yes. How you know this? I know everything about you. I'm like, oh shit, this is dope. I go in the bathroom. She's got toothpaste, toothbrush, t towel. So everything laid the fuck out. Refreshing up, get up, come outside. She said, your car is outside waiting. I said, white woman, you are mm. really trying to get me. And she got you. And you're winning. You fucking winning. She walks me out to the door. Yeah. I never forget that she walks me out to the door. About to turn around and say bye. The driver is an older black man. No. Older black man. I'm walking out. It's like 6.30 in the morning. He know where the fuck you just came from. I just, I, this night, listen to me. I look like I've been doing some wild shit. You been tearing the shit out the frame. I get in the car, sit in, close the door. She's still, she's sitting there like a grown ass woman, like waiting for me to leave. <laughs> like a grown ass woman, she's just sitting there waiting. Close the door, drive off, get to the stop sign. Old black man turn around and look at me. Hell of a way to start your morning. <laughs> I said, oh shit. Because he knew about this. That's the thing with car the going on. I get And they probably done picked some other niggas up this board. Bro, listen, I gotta go though. I'm in a rush because I gotta get, I gotta get I get on this plane. I gotta go. So I'm rushing to get back to my hotel. I walk to the hotel and I feel like a whore. I feel like a goddamn whore. A Wait. slut. Because she sent you on your way? Because I got, she gave me a car. Mm. Send me on my way. I'm walking through the lobby, looking like yesterday. Get up to my room. I get up to my room, she got flowers in the goddamn room. I said, this motherfucker is really putting it down. I gotta hurry up, I ain't got time for this shit. I gotta get to this goddamn airport to catch a flight. So I'm packing all my shit. I get a text from her. Her name is Karen, by the way. Karen. What's up, Karen in Chicago? Karen. Karen texts me. Delay. It's been five minutes. Dot, dot, dot. The fuck is this mean? This bitch is wilding out. She tripping. I gotta pack my shit. I ain't got time for this. I get in, I get downstairs, get an Uber. I'm on my way to the to the airport. I get another text. Delay. It's been 15 minutes. Dot dot dot. The fuck is going on? I get to the airport. Who do I run into? Sydney. Mm. I'm coming back to LA. Sydney's going to another place. Sydney's like, man, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate everything you did. I said, bro, I appreciate you too, too, but I gotta keep going. I gotta go, Sydney. I'll holler at you when we go back to LA. I leave. I'm getting a FaceTime call. I don't know who the fuck is FaceTiming because ain't no name saved on it. It's an unknown number. Who the fuck is FaceTiming? I get the FaceTime. I look up. It's Karen. Oh, man. Karen say, it's been 35 minutes. Dot, dot, dot. And Karen looked me dead in my eyes and said, But did, did you miss me? God, God damn, damn it. it. That's what she said. Yeah. That's what Karen said. Yeah. It took us a while to get there. But we got there, God damn it. We got it there. You got it there. The motherfucker got there. It took us a minute Where when we, we got at? around that thing. 30. Huh? That's 30? Yeah. That was 30 minutes? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. we gonna start doing the breakups now? Oh, we stopped? Like, y'all done or y'all? No, 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 like, no, no, like the commercial, like the, we'll be right back. Oh, what's happening? No, 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 I was just saying it took 30 minutes to land on Digimission. Mm -hmm. No, we switched this regular. Was that the first mm -hmm. one or are we doing? No, that was the first one. No, that was the first one. Yeah. We still run. We still no, gotta go. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> Cause they seem like they was done. <laughs> no, no, we, nah, we just got that out. But we, we, we had started thinking about the coaching that they gave us. Right. Give, give, give it a reset. Re right, the reset button. Now we're here. Okay. Oh yeah. So look, uh, you know, you this this auditioning process. Anytime you audition in anything, you open yourself up for criticism. 
Now, some people choose to look for the criticism. Some people, like you do, don't give a fuck about that criticism because it's, it's really relative. But you have an idea that this criticism happened. You know. It's, anytime you are critiqued on anything, it's, it's, it's a stressful process. It's just, it's, 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 it's bothersome because you got to commit to something. Yeah. You're going to give a fuck, you're not going to give a fuck. You saying the audition story made me think about I was auditioning for A Living Color when it was when I first came out here. I remember that. Courtney and I came out here, he drove out here in the car. So we out here sleeping in a one bedroom apartment with like four people. Mm. It's bad. But we couldn't give a fuck. We, we ran away from it's home. It's bad. Y'all that's how, that's home. how you know when a motherfucker really like you, it don't matter about none of that shit. When a motherfucker like you, they don't give a fuck. No. The struggle don't matter. I like you. When I don't like you, Motherfucker, I don't like none of this shit that's happening, and it's a lot more shit you need to make me feel comfortable so I can start almost liking you. But anyway, get to the audition. In Living Color Out, it goes through four casting directors. So for people who don't know about Hollywood, the casting directors assigned to the TV show, they're overseeing who's going to be the cast on the show. Well, I get picked up on one, make the cast. Next day, get an email. They change the casting directors. They want to recast what, the, what, what? That's like making the basketball team four times. <coughs> On the fourth time, they kept asking for different sketches and more characters. And so I'm doing characters, I'm doing my character work, and then it finally hit me. Just like it hit you. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm doing me. That's all you can At do. At the time, I said, I got a character that I'm doing, and I, I feel like I can really anybody else doing this character. I get in and I decide that I'm going to fully put prosthetics on, makeup, glasses, full costume wardrobe to be Cornell West. <laughs> I'm dressed like this nigga. So. Dr. Cornell West. So I am I dress up just like Cornell West. And so I, I, I got people with me that's, that's like gassing me up about the shit. They don't just take Is anybody in this room? Now these niggas, they they wouldn't have told me to do no shit like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> They'd have talked me out of it like you, you like a heads. goddamn fool. So, but everybody else at the crib gassed me. Court gassed me. She was like, you need to get in all the way in character. Y'all should go up on Hollywood Boulevard and just walk around as I him. I saw that. I saw so that. I saw that. I'm walking around the public fully impersonating Cornell West. The whole my edition is at one. I started at 10 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all out. I'm getting coffee. I'm eating breakfast. I'm I'm soaking it in. People coming up taking pictures. For those of you who don't know Dr. Cornel West, he wears a black suit just about every time. A scarf. A scarf. And it's hot out there. <laughs> and Billy got it on from 10 to 2. Nigga, I am on fire, but I'm in character. You can't break me. You can't break that boy. So I said, fuck it. I'm going straight to the audition. I'm not going home to freshen up. I'm going right in. As Cornel West. So I get in the audition. And there's people in there that know you. The lady that's seeing you, she didn't seen you before. This is callbacks. <laughs> so you got to sign in when you come in. I come right into that bitch. I sign. <laughs> I signed the sign in as Cornel West. So people looking at me, she's like, Billy, I ain't answering. I ain't answering. I'm sitting in there. So everybody in there trying to figure out why is this Ernest, nigga. <laughs> Ernest, he been in there three times as himself. <laughs> Four times he switched his shit up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. So Amber Bickham is is trying to call me to the room. Keenan Ivory Waynes is in there. I ain't getting up. The door is open. Billy, it's your turn. And so they tap me. This this the type of niggas is in the room. They trying to throw me off my shit. The comics is trying to tap me. Niggas hit me with the, hey man, Billy, they want you to go in. Oh, I don't know who, who Billy is, brother. This is Dr. Cornell West here. And uh, if they would like to talk to me, I would have a problem talking to the people because that is what we got to do. We got to make a change in the community. So finally, Keeney yells out, Dr. Cornell West, we need you in. Oh, brother, no, all right. I walk right in there. So I'm in there as Cornell West. They want to see my characters. I said, well, this isn't normally what I do. I don't do this. I talk about things that's really going on in the community. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> doesn't quite go the way delay shit went. It was just kidding, Ivory Wayne. So he asked him, so what your characters are? This is a legend. <laughs> Patriarch of black comedy. Listen, this is a fucking legend. <laughs> and I'm refusing to go to these characters. He's like, okay, you got Cornell down. Who else you do? Oh, brother, I'm Cornell West. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, I'm Cornell West. <laughs> <laughs> I just got you have me just say it. So I think you got me confused. So look. I'm looking around, and now, now they getting annoyed. Like, all right, nigga. That's enough. That's man. enough, God damn it. We want to see the rest of these fucking characters. Well, let me tell you something. And then my, all I can think of in my brain is, stay on it. Stay in the character. They done gassed me all the way up. My manager at the time, Marcus King, who just recently signed on, he like, nigga, you got the same character, nigga. Don't break, nigga, whatever you do. EK, Elijah Griffin. He's, he gets me to watch an hour worth of Man on the Moon to get in the character because he wants me to see how Jim Carrey got in the character to play Andy Kaufman. <laughs> Don't break, Billy. Don't. So, so I'm, I'm hearing them. I'm like, nope. I'm, I'm denying Keenan right now. I'm Cornell West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm denying Keenan. So Keenan gets frustrated. He sits back and says, all right, do what you're going to do. Well, brother, you know, you asked to see some characters. I, I watched a movie with Denzel Washington giving him Denzel. Da, 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 da. Everybody else laughing. Keenan ain't laughing. Keenan ain't looking at shit I'm doing. He ain't even looking at you? He giving me shit. And he's sitting the closest to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting laughs, but Keenan not looking at me it's is fucking, fucking me. I, I, I'm like, all right, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm rushing through my characters. Denzel, I go to Bernie Mac. I go to fucking uh, Morgan Freeman. I'm jumping through characters. I'm going, uh, Keanu Reeves. I'm doing everybody I can. And I hit him with my big finish. And the nigga gave me the most lackluster applause. And I was like, all right. Nigga hit you with the Randy Watson. Man, now nah, he didn't give me that Randy Watson. He started looking at that clipboard and who else was up coming in next. <laughs> and I pretty much knew then. I done did good, but I tanked with that decision. Yeah, they. I, I got out of there. Amber was like, you did good. But uh, Keenan was just trying to get you to go through it. I was like, yeah, well, Cornell West was ready. <laughs> but they kept talking about Billy. Oh, you're still doing it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> they, you stood in it the whole time? She said, you're still doing it. OK. Hey, bro. That was the longest ride back home to go back to the tribe. Like, I know you killed it. Yeah, it was cool. You still got the, <laughs> you still got the uniform on. Oh, nigga, I'm Cornel West all the way home. Oh, shit. Cornel West is the brother left. Y'all don't know. You Google him. The, the big hair, the big wild hair, the intellect, the scholar. I like the brother hair. Uh, speaking of hair, uh, I had an incident that happened to me a few months ago prior to me doing some of these videos. Oh man, what happened? I'm glad you asked. Had a girl that came into town from Atlanta. She said, hey, I'm trying to hang out with you. Where are you? I said, I can't hang out right now. I don't know Khalil at this time. I, this, is how, this is before Khalil. I don't know Khalil at this time. I'm trying to hang out with you. I said, I can't right now. I need to get a haircut. I don't have a barber. And I'm trying to call a couple of people, try to set up something. She said, don't worry. I got a barber for you. <sighs> I'm like, I don't fuck around with my head. Don't have no bullshit. Trust me, he's dope. I know this girl, but I don't know her. You know what I mean? Like I've hung out with her a couple times, but I don't yeah, know you her. don't really know. She, and she, yeah. So she's telling me it's my friend's barbershop. They just opened. It's not all the way open yet, but dope barbers in there, and we got you with the best. All right, cool. She put, she says I'm gonna meet you over there. She gives me that dress. Shoot over there. We get there, and just like she said, they're still under reconstruction, but they got an area where I can get my hair cut. Anybody tripping? What's the guy named Carlos? The guy's cutting my hair name is Carlos. The guy owning it is a black guy. Brother, I think it's from New York. He's on it. He said, hey, D-Lay, man, love your work, man. You picked the right spot. I got you, man. Carlos gonna get you right. Cool. I go in there. Carlos has one of them handlebar. He's a little Latino guy. Oh, He's got a shit, handlebar man. mustache. He I got feel that. like I know where this is going. So he's in there. He's got the apron on, right? He's got the apron on. Do he got a lot of tattoos? He tatted up. 
Now, are you over there off of? I'm on Sunset Boulevard. On the other end of Sunset. On the other end of Sunset. Not Legends Barbershop. No, it's, uh, it's the other end. On the other end. Yes. Not no, nowhere in Hollywood. All the way on the other end, past the 101. That's where it is. On the right side. I don't know. I can't remember if it's the right or left, but I, I know exactly who you're talking about. Dude got a little. Yes. He's Filipino. Is he, I, I don't know. My Asian name. dude. Yes. He looked Mexican. But no, it, this dude. I don't know. You're right. He could have been. He could have been. I'm not sure. No, you know what? I'm fucking up. It's two of them. It's a Mexican and it's a dude that's in that barbershop and an Asian dude that's in that barbershop. I know exactly what you're talking about. Keep I go going. in this spot and I said, it feels comfortable. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feels comfortable. They, they you know, they welcome me. These guys are nice. I welcome my man. As soon as I walk in, my man say, hey, bro. Hey, man, thanks for coming, man. Um, you know, you know, honor to cut your hair. So I want to let you know, man, you're in good hands. I've been doing this for over 25 years. You don't have anything to worry about, bro. I've cut some of everybody here, man. I've cut Dominique Wilkins. I've cut Spud Will. I've cut, he named all these old motherfuckers. I'm like, okay. I'm worried. Sound like you ain't got nobody relevant that you didn't I'm listen. worried. Because he threw out his credentials right away. Yeah. And didn't just cut your hair. Uh, fuck it. Be cool. Oh, girl is sitting across from me. I'm looking at her. She's like, yeah, what is it? So I'm sitting there and I always doze off. I always, I'm going to go to sleep. That's what the fuck. I'm going to go to sleep. When I get my hair cut, I'm going to sleep. That's my, that's my refuge. That's my peace. So I'm sitting there and he's cutting my hair and I can feel it. It, don't, it ain't feeling normal. It feels like something's off about it. I'm not tripping. I'm like, you know what? I just need something to look decent. I just need something to look decent because I got a short a couple of days. I'm flying out a day early, got the short the following day. So I'm sitting there getting my hair cut and he's cutting it for a long time, long fucking time. That's another reason you know something's going wrong. He's yeah. cutting my hair too goddamn long. Stops cutting my hair. He says, now. I'm whoa, like, whoa, wait, I'm wait. Not, like, 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 now, now what do you think? Like, I'm like, I'm hoping you don't. So I said, let me help him out. Hey, my man, are you going to do the razor? He said, oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm going to put the razor on you. I got the razor. He grabs the razor. First of all, I think the motherfucker was done. I think he thought he was done. I ain't tripping. I'm going to throw that razor on you. I got to have a razor. You just, if you got a decent, decent fade, if you can put that razor on me good, that better help. That'll cover me up. He gets to my head, bro. No bullshit. As he comes to my head, out of my peripheral, I see this motherfucker hand, bro. <laughs> That's not what you want to see when you got a straight <laughs> razor. I see this motherfucker hand right here. So I said, I don't want to look at him and make him real nervous. Let me just see if it's going to slow down once it get closer to my head. Man, that ain't cool at all. That motherfucker is stop and still shaking. So I said, hey, bro, you good? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I get it on there. Once I get it on there. <laughs> Fuck no. Like he tracing my shit. Once I get it on there. Okay. So... He doing it, and, and he feels, feels like he's not comfortable with the razor. Mm -hmm. You know, you can tell when they're not comfortable. So he's going through it, and he's shaky. He's, I don't feel like he's pushing me, but he's shaky. It, ain't, it definitely ain't straight. It ain't, it ain't straight. So he's still doing it, doing it, doing it. So he stopped, and he was like, check it out. I look in the mirror. I say, nah, bro. Nah. Nah, that ain't right. How'd that look to you? Because it was crooked. I said, look at it like I'm looking at it. We looking at it together. He said, I don't, I don't see what's going on. I said, bro, you don't want to see what's going on. My shit is fucked up, bro. I said, how about this, bro? I took the cape off. I said, bro, I'm good. Don't even, I'm good. Don't trip. Owner comes over. Man, I'm sorry, bro. I, just, I mean, I, I saw your face, man. I saw your face, bro. And I was like, man. You definitely ain't a black dude. He's, he's a black dude. I saw your face, bro. I hope, you know, I was hoping that, you know, this is what we're going to do, man. I'm gonna bring my my other guy in, man. I gotta call him. You gotta call him. I said, nah, bro. I need I need my shit done right. And I'm like, he said, you know what? Just have a seat, man. Let me let me just go over it. Just call us. Fuck it. I said, now hit this motherfucker go again. Same fucking shaky ass wrist. He comes down. I said, bro, you know what? Just fuck it. You're not gonna do it right. You know he's not gonna do it right. You're not gonna do it right. So I pull out my phone. I said, I'm about to go on social media and do it right. The dude was like, bro, please, bro. I'm just about to get opening. I'm a black man. Please don't do this. I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it at all. But I'm going to get him individually. I'm going to get this motherfucker individually. I'm going I'm to I'm tag him on some shit. I'm not even tripping on him. I'm going to make sure that nobody ever in life 
come to you, handlebar, mustache, happy motherfucker. I'm going to make sure that your shit is exposed. Leave out of there. Hot. I'm hot. You know who I'm hot at? Who? The girl. Because she knew better. <laughs> the fucking referral. Her. I'm mad at her. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Sorry that I'm going to fix this crooked ass line. Give me that nigga social media information. She said, let me call the owner. Call the owner. Owners. Um, Carlos ain't on nothing. That's a sign. Carlos not even legal. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's not even legal. Listen to me. You stepped out there. Way the fuck. You know, you you know, this 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 was a racial show today. It was. Because it was. you allowed some things, some boundaries to be crossed. First of all, you let a Mexican in your head. Yeah. And then I hey, 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 I just hey. wanna let you know. Love Mexicans to death. They, they do a hell of a job in all the shit that they do. Mm -hmm. This one fucked you. He hearts fucked me. Yeah, but we just kind of have a thing, you know, who goes in your head. I always like to, you know, evaluate. Because, you know, with us traveling, we very committed to the barbers that we use. Mm -hmm. I had the same dude cut my hair since I was in sixth grade. So he was all the way through. And that's when I really first started getting haircuts. Because K through, K through fifth grade, my old man was in there fucking me off. <laughs> 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 and let me tell you. Let me tell you, my dad being an artist, that's always what it started with. It always started with that. My head is the, t is the playground for him to fuck off a Saturday afternoon. Barbershop? Barbershop for what? Okay, you want your haircut? Yeah, dad, I want to I get, a, get a fade. Gotcha. Come on, let's go. We going to the barbershop? Yeah, we're going we gonna to go to the barbershop. Ain't passing a barbershop. We pull up at Walmart. I said, oh, I guess we're going to Walmart. And then we're going to go to the barbershop. I said, Dad, so we're going to the barbershop next? He said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right we're going. We go in Walmart. He goes to the health and hair care side. Nigga grabs a black box of well home cuts. These, these is the cheapest clippers you can get. They like $12. You looking at the box. You looking at my head. He flipped the box around. This is a sign that this, this is not supposed to happen this way. Everybody on the box is white. Oh, no. The demonstration of blending hair and all that shit, all white. Ain't none of this. None yeah, of this. He's going to get his goddamn practice on. Listen. He don't know shit about this. He got this the box. He held the box up and looked at your head? Nigga, takes this box. We go to the crib. Now I'm sitting there. I say, like, oh, I didn't know daddy knew how to cut hair. Because when it first happened to you, you, don't, you ain't thinking it's gonna go bad. You thinking it's gonna go like every other time you've been in the barbershop. Man, my daddy is cutting the fuck out my head. He done, first off, he's free freehand with no guard on. Oh. Doing the over, listen, I gotta get it even first. <laughs> you get it even with the guard on, daddy. Yeah, you he ain't going all like across that. my shit. He going all across my shit. Then they got some scissors, but I don't know, they never really made scissors this big no more. But these these scissors, these bar long than the motherfucker, with the with the curl on the end of them. I know. So he going about. through, he snip snipping all on the top of my head. None of this feel right. <laughs> then he doing this, he patting it. Yeah, you gotta pat it. You gotta pick it up, then pat it, then trim it even. I'm, it's my daddy. What the fuck, I'm finna do. It's gonna turn out. I guess it's gonna turn out right. He cut my hair. Right. He know what he doing. This nigga, then says. But let me tell you something, son. It look good right now. But I can take it to the next level. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I say what? Hey, man, let me tell you something. You got to be a trendsetter. You got to be a trendsetter. Oh, shit. Man, let me tell you something. Anytime a daddy got an open canvas to fuck over a, a son yeah. with what his idea is, oh, yeah. he's going to do it. Yeah. He, My daddy then blends one whole side off just just off straight it ain't even a fade just yeah that's your shit look like blade nigga that wasn't all he went around the ear went down the side back of my neck then v'd the back of my shit oh god damn then gave me two parts but let me tell you where, where the parts didn't go parts didn't go like this no these ain't edges these is goddamn clippers yeah Parts this goddamn big. I look, like my, I look like I'm a wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys 
Because he just keep fucking Michael doing Irvin. it. I'm Michael Irvin Michael in this bitch. Irvin. So I got one side gone. I got eight parts on this side. Then he says, you know what? Mm -mm. You're missing something. You're missing something. He said, you got you to gotta, you gotta balance it out. You know, your hair is all about balance. <laughs> well, daddies will say any kind of bullshit. Listen, the side that's the bald, kid, You got to balance it out. The side that's bald, he gets the comb. He parts my head. Combs it over. Then takes the guard, the clipper, and makes a one big long all the way back. Puts an arrow that comes down in the end of my damn V in the back. He said, yeah, now you're clean. But when that nigga put that alcohol on my neck. Oh, gosh. Nigga, my whole goddamn head is on fire, nigga. Yeah. Burning. Whole head flamed up. I'm sitting in the chair. I'm like, oh, shit, I got parts. But he gassing me. I don't know that this is gas. I'm really genuinely believing you this is it. this is shit. Yeah. So I'm looking in the mirror. I'm looking at shit looking off. It ain't, it ain't like, yeah, this is clean. He, but he gassing it. Hey, man. Hey. You sharp. You sharp. <laughs> That's what you got, man. You a big ah. You a big time third grader tomorrow, man. <laughs> you sharp. You sharp. You sharp. This the day before school. My mama comes in with the girls from the grocery store. I'm in the middle of the kitchen, hair everywhere. She walking in, dropping groceries off. She look up and see me. She says, "Oh." I say, "Hey, mama, you like my haircut?" Yeah, baby. Who cut you? <laughs> Who cut you, baby? <laughs> My daddy's standing there in the kitchen, all proud and shit, with a toothpick in his mouth, drinking a tall glass of Kool-Aid. <laughs> See, he, 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 he hype. He, you like it, don't you? <laughs> Joanna and Brittany, they walk through. What they do to his head? <laughs> <laughs> so, and then Brit, Joanna says, he got so many parts, daddy. How many parts he got? I say, I don't know. But that got parts, though. So... <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> my mama is seeing that he has fucked over me. Well, it's going to grow in and feel in good. Ah, uh, he just got to cut the day. He's going to feel in good. Let me tell you something, man. I have never felt the shame uh, and confusion as to why people kept talking about my haircut. Because uh, I don't know that they're fucking over me. I don't know that they're fucking over me at all. Uh -huh. People just keep coming up to me. Got a lot of parts. Everybody keep talking about the amount of Teacher. parts. Teacher, oh, your hair's creative. <laughs> I get to the crib, and my daddy can tell I'm thrown off a little bit. He said, man, what's wrong, man? I said, dad, I don't know. They kept asking me about my haircut today. I don't know if they liked it. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them, they like your fucking hair. You a Sorrells. We create our own style. I'm the first person in Chattanooga, Tennessee to have a jerry curl. <laughs> that shit wasn't cool, but I made it cool. You know what I walked in and said? I said, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them people. They don't know style. Because we that's his style. work. Uh, they shitted on his work. He I, mad. Uh, what you mean? What you mean they asked you about the parts? How many? Listen, D, he said, you know what? Just for that, I'm going to show their ass what style is. You a Sorrells. Nigga goes back. Gets the clippers again. <laughs> puts, the, puts the sheet on me. Gets me in the kitchen. This nigga makes a box S in the back of my head. Whole head got an S in it. With a, now, you already know it's a, it's a V. He done like, gave me a v, v, up. You definitely v. And an arrow. And arrow. I got Michael Irvin all you on this side. Irvin. Like I sell cocaine. With your steam. Then I, got, then I got the steam. Right. I got a Ricky the Dragon steamboat. Steamboat, right. And any nigga you gonna put this a S... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And now, this is when the gas get real big because he gives me the little mirror to hold up and look back there because I can't see it. He said, you want to see what's back there? Show you what's back there. <laughs> hold that mirror up. Hold it up. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this S, baby. You're a Sorrells. Now, you going there tomorrow and anybody asks you about your hair, you point to your S and you tell them, you're a Sorrells. You don't worry about them. Remember what I said? What? Fuck them. <laughs> The morning comes, I'm getting ready to go outside to catch the bus. My mama pats me on the back of my head. Say, I want you to have a good day, baby. I turned to my mama, I looked at her dead eye, and I said, 
Did you miss me? God damn it, man. We brought y'all around the world. And uh, I'm Billy Zarrells. And it's D-Lay. No, that's different. That's something different. Listen, we can talk about that first. Y'all niggas crazy. Hey, man. Make sure you listen to us on iTunes, on YouTube, Spotify, Google Play, even in the Apple Store. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. I always forget SoundCloud. You yeah, a, lot people they got, a lot of people forget to subscribe to. Man, review. Subscribe, man. Like. Comment and get the merchandise. Buy yourself. They don't know where it is. Man, did you miss me podcast.com? That's right.